Thank you so much for that introduction. I appreciate it. Um, so before we talk about, um, you know, the medical home model and what we do with that, I first want to talk about the state of HIV in the United States right now. Um, HIV rates are increasing, particularly um, here in the South, uh, as well as some rural counties. Um, if we zoom into Colorado, uh, just over 900 people per 100,000 are living with HIV in the Denver metro area. And there is this kind of outlier dark red spot here that's Fremont County. And the reason that that one is red is not necessarily because um, the regular citizens there have HIV at that much of a higher rate, but because they, um, the, a lot of the prisons are there and prisoners are about five to seven times more likely to have HIV than the general population. Mm -hmm. uh, one kind of upsetting thing that we see in new diagnoses is that almost half of new diagnoses are among um, black individuals in the United States. Um, and that number is about 20% of diagnoses are in Latino individuals. So that number is really high and really scary. And uh, I think looking at these statistics can be tough. Uh, if current HIV diagnoses rates persist, about one in two black uh, MSM and one in four Latino MSM in the United States will be diagnosed with HIV in their lifetime that number is staggering and it's, I, I think that it's unacceptable. Um, but the new face of HIV is optimistic and uh, at Vivant Health, that's, that's kind of what we're going off of is our optimism about the future of HIV. Uh, that comes from uh, the new technologies that we've found. Of course, uh, U equals U, that means if someone, um, has a detectable viral load, they take their antiretrovirals and they achieve an undetectable status, they are um, not able to pass the virus to somebody else. Unfortunately, we see some of the same disparities um, in viral suppression rates uh, among individuals um, who are Black and Latino versus white individuals. Um, black individuals in the United States uh, in 2014 were suppressed at about 40%. Um, versus 56% of white individuals um, living with HIV were virally suppressed. So as we look at those things, um, it, it's a big effort to get to those um, benchmarks that Megan talked about in the previous conversation and to make sure that we are fighting for health equity. So all, all causes have advocates, but in the fight against HIV, only a champion will do. Uh, at Vivant Health, all of our employees are called champions. We don't have an HR department anymore. We have a uh, champion resource center. Uh, so we, we really own that, that we are fighting to eliminate HIV. And we do that through patient-centered care. Uh, and that, what that means is that we ensure that the patient is given the most access that they can to health care that is high quality and that is robust. And we do this um, at Vivant Health, we move people all the way through the HIV care continuum, continuum sorry, uh, all the way from initial diagnosis of HIV, we have testing programs um, as well as PrEP programs. Uh, if someone does test positive for HIV in our office, we're able to immediately link them to care and then engage them and retain them in um, HIV related care through a big safety net of programs that help to um, make sure that they stay engaged. We have an on-site pharmacy, so folks are able to leave their first diagnosis and pick up their HIV medications within the same day. Uh, and then from there, we do active monitoring to ensure that folks are achieving viral suppression. So at Vivant Health, we believe that the emphasis on living with HIV, HIV should be with living. Um, and that's what we're working to help folks out with. So the medical home that I talked a little bit about is just that. We are one office um, and we have offices in four different states now um, that has all of these services right under one roof. So everything from the syringe access and prep navigation, um, testing, and then we are also able to have a dentist, a lawyer on staff, case management for kind of quarterbacking everything, uh, insurance navigators, all under this one roof that um, 
people only have to go to one place to access those services, which eliminates a really big barrier, especially when we look at transportation, um, because transportation, especially if folks don't have a car, is really hard, especially here in the Denver Metro. By putting all of these things under one roof and making sure that we take care of people well, we've seen some patient outcomes, including that 95% of our patients are virally suppressed. Um, that's huge. And we are working actively to eliminate the HIV um, viral suppression rate in Black individuals. And so in 2019, our goal was 92.7% of uh, Black patients would be virally suppressed. And we stomped that out by reaching 93.4%. Some of our other outcomes are that we did a study a few years ago and uh, found that an ongoing relationship with our clinic included um, a significant reduction in cost, hospital stays, admissions, and uh, in folks moving from having HIV to um, the progression to AIDS. And patients participating in that model saved the Medicaid system uh, in Wisconsin, that's where the study was done, an average of $9,000 per year in healthcare costs. So with that being said, the new face of HIV is thriving and we're really, really excited to see what the future holds. Um, I was also instructed to plug that we are actively hiring in our Denver office and we love MPH candidates and um, folks who have finished their MPH. So I would invite everyone to uh, come take a look and, and become a champion. Thank you so much.